In this video, I'll show you the required hardware and software settings to link Prime 2 with SoundSwitch lighting control software. Prime 2 owners receive two months of SoundSwitch for free. Let's get started. First, you'll need either a Mac or a Windows computer to run SoundSwitch. Next, a SoundSwitch compatible DMX interface. At least one DMX capable light fixture an Ethernet cable to link Prime 2 to the computer, a DMX cable to connect the DMX interface to your light fixture, and of course, the Denon DJ Prime 2. Connect the DMX cable to your SoundSwitch compatible DMX interface. Then, connect the other end of your DMX cable to your first light fixture. Next, connect the Ethernet cable and SoundSwitch compatible DMX interface to your computer. Last, connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to Prime 2's link port. First, open Engine Prime and transfer your music to your media device. Here you can see that I have a Funk Groove playlist on my SD card and it's ready for scripting. Next, open SoundSwitch. Note that version 2.2 or higher is needed for Prime 2 compatibility. Click Edit Mode and then choose Preferences from the Sound Switch menu. From the General tab, check that both Engine OS and the All-in-One options are selected. Click the Library tab and ensure the Show Engine Prime Library is also checked. Next, choose your venue and open the DMX Universe map to add and assign your light fixtures. Click the drop-down menu within the fixture to assign the light to a different zone or effect. In this setup, I'm using all three wash assignments, a strobe, and also a primary spot. Once your lights are set up, click Done to close the DMX Universe map. Under the Music Library, you can see the Engine Prime collection and also your media device. Choose your playlist, and then select all the tracks within a list. From the automation menu, choose Auto Script, and then choose either Auto or Advanced. SoundSwitch will now run the auto scripting process to detect the different music sections, and then create dynamic light shows for all the tracks. Once complete, click OK. You can now see the lighting automations created for each individual fixture lane. Next. Save the auto scripts by clicking the disk icon in the toolbar. Now switch to Engine Prime and safely eject the media device. Once ejected, remove from your computer and insert into the Prime 2. Back to sound switch one last time. Change to perform mode. And select your venue. Mac users will need to disable Wi-Fi to connect to Prime 2. Once you see the blue connection dot here, you're good to go. Let's check out the auto script.